Dreaming of owning a property in a prime location with great proximity and fantastic neighborhood? EJ Investments Sanyang Seaview Estate is the best choice you have been waiting for. Our Sanyang Seaview Estate is approximately 15 minutes drive away from the busy hop of Brusubi roundabout and into the heart of nature where you can have a peaceful and relaxed lifestyle with your family. You can buy a finished four bedroom story with five year flexible payment plan or a service plot with two year payment plan option. With over 300 homes, you will enjoy big tar roads with covered drainage, modern electrification with solar street lights, gated entrance with security posts, and a breath-catching experience of our beautiful sea view and lake view. You can own a home today at our Sanyang Sea View Estate. Call us today on 446-4838 or 325 9220. Visit our website on ejinvestments.net. EJ Investments, first in property. All right. Pony, did you remind him that the last time he sent the money, it was not enough to buy all the provisions? Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell him. Are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions? Yes. yes. But don't you know about Baluo? 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 What is Baluo? Baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop. And you don't have to worry about the exchange rates. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria, or Mali. Baluo, better than sending money. Before we commence proceedings, as is customary, we seek the blessings of Almighty Allah through prayers. And on this note, please allow me to kindly invite the Imam. The Imam of the Gambia Armed Forces, Captain Mohamed Mane. I am Major Lamin K. Sanya, the Director of Press and Public Relations of the Gambia Armed Forces. Ya yeah, Imam. Captain Father Carl Gomez, two leaders in the Christian prayers. Indeed, how good is the Lord, bless his holy name. Eternal God, we glorify you for making us to be part of this day and this hour. We thank you for the peace of this nation. We thank you for the peace in this environment. As we gather to grace this occasion of this decoration ceremony, we turn to you in prayer and ask that, Lord, you see us through 
the rest of the activities that we have highlighted. In a special way, Lord, we present these people that are newly elevated to office. We ask you, Lord, to take control. Grant them your wisdom. Grant them the prudence. Grant them the justice and the fear of God that they need in order to execute their duties. We pray that they will be able to do so for the common good and for the greater glory of your name. Heavenly Father, we present our speakers to you on this occasion. We ask that you speak to us through them. We ask that you open our minds and our hearts to receive words of wisdom from them and to act upon them for the common good. Send us your Holy Spirit, Lord. Sanctify us in every way and receive each and every one of us our prayers. Eternal God, we ask you to go with us in the rest of this program so that, Lord, at the end of it all, what we desire to achieve we achieve for the greater glory of your name. We submit our individual prayers with these supplications made in the words our Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thou will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, from evil. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Secretary to Cabinet, Mr. Ibrahim Asise, the Chief of Defense Staff, Gambia Armed Forces, Lieutenant General Masani Ekiti, Commander Gambia National Army, Brigadier General Mama Cham, Commander Gambia Navy, Commodore Madani Senghor, the Inspector General of the Gambia Armed, um, the Adjutant General of the Gambia Armed Forces, Brigadier General Ramatullah Diki Sane, Directing, um, directors of the Defense Headquarters here present, principal staff officers, officers and men of the Gambia Armed Forces, members of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all of the protocols duly and respectfully observed. I am Major Lamin K. Sanya, the Director of Press and Public Relations, Gambia Armed Forces, and I shall be your Master of Ceremony for this occasion. I feel deeply honored to have been given the role of Master of Ceremony this morning. We are gathered here to witness the decoration ceremony of 42 senior officers of the Gambia Armed Forces who have been elevated to the ranks of Major and Lieutenant Colonel respectively by the President and Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the, of the Republic of the Gambia, His Excellency Mr. Adam Abaro. Your Excellency, sir. The senior officers to be decorated this morning shall be composed of six senior officers who have been promoted from the rank of major to lieutenant colonel and 36 other junior officers who have been promoted from the rank of major and um, captain to major. Please allow me, Your Excellency, on behalf of the Chief of Defense Staff, General Officers, Services Chiefs, officers and men of the armed forces, to heartily congratulate the officers on their much deserved and meritorious promotion. With Your Excellency's kind permission, the decoration ceremony this morning shall be conducted in the following order. First, we shall have the citation of the officer to be decorated, who will be invited to come forward for the citation. Next, the officer shall be decorated by Your Excellency the President. Then after that, after completing a five, um, they will be coming in batches of five, there will be asked to take their oaths to be administered by the Secretary to Cabinet, Mr. Ibrahim Assisi. After the oath taking by all the promoted office, um, decorated officers, we shall have the vote of thanks to be delivered by the most senior officer among those decorated, or to be decorated. This shall be followed by the remarks by the Chief of Defense Staff, Gambia Armed Forces, and we shall culminate with the remarks by Your Excellency the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is worth it mentioned that promotions in the military as well as in other spheres of human endeavor are meant to reward hard work, dedication to duty, and above all, loyalty and de devotion to the ideals of an organization or institution one is working for, and by extension, the state. It is against this backdrop 
that we are gathered here this morning to witness the decoration of these officers by our Commander-in-Chief. Advancements in human civilization saw the modernization of this tradition, whereby members of the armed forces are periodically elevated in rank in recognition of their continued commitment, dedication, merit, selfless self, sac service and sacrifice, and above all, loyalty to the state and her people. This is a privilege that is definitely a befitting motivation and brings immense joy and happiness to both the beneficiaries as well as their families. Your Excellency, by virtue of my role as the Master of Ceremonies and with the permission of the Chief of Defense Staff, I would like to say a big thank you to Your Excellency for approving this as well as several other promotions of members of the Gambia Armed Forces, both the officers and the junior cadre. I thank you, Your Excellency. <laughs> Since your assumption of the reins of power in this country in the new dispensation, the Gambia Armed Forces has registered tremendous progress and success in several spheres, most especially in terms of logistics, in that in the past few months, the Gambia Armed Forces had um, taken delivery of several log logistics items in, in the form of military equipment and um, both um, uniforms and other combat um, accessories for her troops um, bound for Darfur, as well as um, most of our troops that are based here in the country. In addition to the logistic support that we've um, continued to benefit from Your Excellency's uh, benevolence, the Gambia Armed Forces also has benefited from several training packages from our allied partners, namely the Republic of China, Turkey, the United Kingdom, and the United States, among others. It is without doubt that your support and your unflinching assistance to the Gambia Armed Forces is paying dividend in that the Gambia Armed Forces today can pride itself as being one of a professional and competent armed forces in this sub-region. Without further ado, I would like to thank you, sir, Your Excellency, most profoundly for having found time out of your busy schedule to be with us this morning to um, decorate our colleagues, senior officers of the Gambia Armed Forces. At this juncture, please kindly allow me to invite Captain Amiba to please come forward for her citation. Next to be decorated is Captain Aliu Sanyan. Sir. Next to be decorated is Captain Ansumana B. Sanyan. Sir. He shall be decorated to the rank of Major. Please allow me to kindly invite Navy Lieutenant Alhaji Williams. The officers shall be decorated with the rank of Lieutenant Commander. He shall be promoted to the rank of Major. At this juncture, please allow me to kindly invite the Chief of Defense Staff, Lieutenant General Masani and Kinte, to kindly decorate the officers to the ranks of Major and Lieutenant Commander, respectively. He shall be assisted by the Secretary to Cabinet, Mr. Ibrahim Assisi. Your Excellency, with your permission, I'll start with the order of office. So those newly decorated officers, uh, you should repeat after me. The order of office, I, having been promoted to the rank of in the armed forces of the Republic of the Gambia, Hereby swear on the holy, swear on the holy Quran, that I shall always work towards the maintenance of high standards of unity, that I shall always work towards the maintenance of high standards of unity, patriotism, patriotism progress, progress, and discipline, and discipline in the armed forces of the Republic of the Gambia, in the armed forces of the Republic of the Gambia. At all, times. At all times. So help me God. So help me God. Next to be decorated is um, Landing Tamba.
Next to be decorated is Captain Bubake Bojang. He shall be decorated with the rank of Major. Next to be decorated is Captain Cham Samati. Next to be decorated is Captain Peter Jata. He shall be decorated to the rank of a major. Next to be decorated is Captain Fabura Manjai. He shall also be decorated with the rank of major. Next to be decorated is Captain Amat Jangong. He shall be decorated with the rank of major. Next to be decorated is Captain Demba Balde. He shall be decorated with the rank of major. Next to be decorated is Captain Salifu Ture. He shall also be decorated with the rank of major. Last but not least category to be decorated is Captain Awabaji. Out of office, I, I Captain Sajjaban, having been promoted to the rank of in the armed forces of the Republic of the Gambia, hereby swear on the Holy Bible or the Quran, hereby swear on the Holy Bible. That I shall always work towards the maintenance of high standards of unity, patriotism, progress, and discipline in the armed forces of the Republic of the Gambia at all times. So help me God. Captain Kodu Jada is currently serving at the Joint Services Headquarters on the Gambia Armed Forces HIV and AIDS Prevention Program. Next to be decorated is Captain Nene Gomez. She shall be decorated with the rank of Major. Next to be decorated is Captain Anna Marie Mendy. She shall be decorated with the rank of major. Next to be decorated is Lieutenant, Navy Lieutenant Yusuf Asani. He shall be decorated with the rank of Lieutenant Commander. Please allow me to kindly invite Captain Ramu Sonko. She shall be decorated with the rank of major. Next to be decorated is Lieutenant Command, um, Lieutenant, Navy Lieutenant William Demba. He shall be promoted or decorated with the rank of Lieutenant Commander. Next to be decorated this morning shall be Navy Lieutenant Farah Job. He shall be decorated with the rank of Lieutenant Commander. Next to be decorated is Captain Momodu J. Mane. In the Armed Forces of the Republic of the Gambia, hereby swear on the Holy Quran or the Holy Bible, that I shall always work towards the maintenance of high standards of unity, patriotism, progress, and discipline in the armed forces of the Republic of the Gambia at all times. So help me God. Out of trust, I, 
having been promoted to the rank of in the armed forces of the Republic of the Gambia, hereby swear on the Holy Quran or the Holy Bible that I will not directly or indirectly betray the trust reposed on me by virtue of my appointment. So help me God. Captain J. Mane was born on the 12th of October 1984 in Serekunda and got enlisted into the Gambian National Army on 22nd September 2002. Captain Matar Jame. <laughs> Captain Keba Jabi. Captain Babukar Ba. Yes, Captain Momodu Demba. Yes, Captain Lamin Jabang. Yes, Captain Abdul Jata. Yes, Captain Alhaji Njai. And last but not least, Captain Baba Galeba. Having been promoted to the rank of Major in the Armed Forces of the Republic of the Gambia, hereby swear on the Holy Quran or the Holy Bible that I shall always work towards the maintenance of high standards of unity patriotism progress and discipline in the armed forces of the republic of the gambia at all times and discipline in the armed forces of the republic of the gambia at all times so help me god so help me god out of trust out of trust i I, having been promoted to the rank of in the armed forces of the Republic of the Gambia, hereby swear on the Holy Quran or the Holy Bible that I will not directly or indirectly betray the trust reposed on me by virtue of my appointment. So help me God. So help me God. Out of secrecy. Out of secrecy. I, I, Captain Marganisani, having been promoted to the rank of having been promoted to the rank of major in the armed forces of the Republic of the Gambia. In the armed forces of the Republic of the Gambia. Hereby swear on the Holy Quran or the Holy Bible. Hereby swear on the Holy Quran that I will not divulge any information that I will not divulge any information of a secret and strategic nature of a secret and strategic nature pertaining to the armed forces of the Republic of the Gambia pertaining to the armed forces of the Republic of the Gambia to an authorized person to an unauthorized person so help me God so help me God please allow me to kindly invite Major Timothy Sanya. Major Seku Kujabi. So. Major Ibrahim Ay Krubali. The senior officer shall be decorated with the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. Next to be decorated is Major Seku Kujabi. Next to be decorated is Major Ibrahim I. Kurubali. Next to be decorated this afternoon is Lieutenant Commander Ali Usane. At this juncture, I have the singular honor and privilege to kindly invite His Excellency the President and Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces, Mr. Adam Abaro, Lieutenant General Masane N. Kinti. So.
Yes, yes. I'll be going yes. with the masters. Mm -hmm. But what is doing it right now? No, because I want to start before because you don't go with a, a, a fourth degree. Uh -huh. I don't want to go with you. We, we did it. So now they're relaxing. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. It's hot to be Yeah, I was at the hot mic. Huh? The ladies are pocketing the wooden. For who? of the Republic of the Gambia hereby yeah, swear on the Holy Quran or the Holy Bible that I shall always work towards the maintenance of high standards of unity patriotism progress and discipline in the armed forces of the Republic of the Gambia at all times. So help me God. Out of trust, I, having been promoted to the rank of in the armed forces of the Republic of the Gambia, in the armed forces of the Republic of the Gambia. Hereby swear on the Holy Quran or the Holy Bible. Hereby swear on the Holy Quran. That I will not directly or indirectly. That I will not directly or indirectly. Betray the trust reposed on me by virtue of my appointment. Betray the trust reposed on me by virtue of my appointment. So help me God. So help me God. Out of secrecy. I, having been promoted to the rank of in the armed forces of the Republic of the Gambia, hereby swear on the Holy Quran or the Holy Bible that I will not divulge any information any of a secret and strategic nature pertaining to the armed forces of the Republic of the Gambia to an unauthorized person. So help me God. Out of allegiance to the commander in chief, I Having been promoted to the rank of in the armed forces of the Republic of the Gambia, hereby swear on the Holy Quran or the Holy Bible that I will bear true allegiance and 
and absolute loyalty to the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Republic of the Gambia at all times. And absolute loyalty to the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Republic of the Gambia at all times. So help me God. So help me God. Out of allegiance to the state. Out of allegiance to the state. I. I. Having been promoted to the rank of. Having been promoted to the rank of. In the armed forces of the Republic of the Gambia. In the armed forces of the Republic of the Gambia. Hereby swear on the Holy Quran or the Holy Bible. Hereby swear on the Holy Bible. That I will bear true allegiance. That I will bear true allegiance. And absolute loyalty to the Republic of the Gambia at all times. And absolute loyalty to the Republic of the Gambia at all times. So help me God. So help me God. I have the singular honor and privilege to kindly invite Lieutenant Colonel Kulute Mane, who is the most senior among those that have been decorated this morning, to deliver the vote of thanks. Sir. Vote of thanks on behalf of decorated officers. Your Excellency, President of the Republic of the Gambia, and Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces, Mr. Adam Abaro. Your Excellency, the Vice President, Dr. Aisa Duture, Honorable Ministers of Cabinet here present, Secretary of Cabinet, the Chief of Defense Staff, Gambia Armed Forces, Lieutenant General Masane N. Kinte, Service Chiefs, General Officers, and senior officers here present. Of course, not forgetting my able State Guard Commander, Colonel Turo Jawani. <laughs> my comrades, newly decorated officers, members of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all other protocols duly and respectfully observe. I am Lieutenant Colonel Kulute Mane, Operation Officer of the State Guard Battalion. I am extremely thrilled and honored to have been given the opportunity to deliver this vote of thanks on behalf of the newly decorated officers. Firstly, I wish to thank the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us long life and good health to witness this historic event. Secondly, I wish to thank our families for their support and understanding during the performance of the role and tax serving in the military. Sir, on behalf of our respective families, I wish to express our special and sincere thanks and appreciation to His Excellency, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Republic of the Gambia, Mr. Adama Barrow. <laughs> Through the Chief of Defense Staff for this promotion and historic decorations. Promotions as well as decorations are unique and special occasions that forms part of the welfare, that forms part of the welfare package in many institutions. The Gambia Armed Forces has witnessed an increasing number of the ceremonies which are important milestone events in the military career of officers and soldiers since the advent of the Second Republic. We in the Gambia Armed Forces are opportune to have as our Commander-in-Chief a visionary dynamic leader whose ultimate vision of creating highly trained, disciplined, motivated, and professional armed forces has seen the elevation to various ranks of our personnel. <laughs> Your Excellency, sir, we are cognizant 
of the saying that to whom much is given, much is expected. On one hand, this promotion goes a long way to indicate amount of trust and confidence repose on us whilst at the same time it is an indication for us to live up to expectations. <laughs> to this end, we promise to measure up to challenge and to endeavor to deliver the best of our respective abilities. We will not rest on our, on our laurels, but instead redouble our efforts in contribution towards the realization of your vision for the Gambia Armed Forces. <laughs> on a final note, we wish to thank you all for taking your time out of your busy schedules to attend this historic moment of our lives. Please allow me on, be, on this final note. Following on celebration marking the end of the holy month of Ramadan, to wish and pray to the Almighty Allah to grant us all long life and help to witness many more glorious moments to come and accept all our prayers and our individual supplications. I thank you, sir, for your kind attention. That was the vote of thanks by the most senior among those officers that have been decorated this afternoon, Lieutenant Colonel Kulute Mane. At this juncture, I have the singular honor and privilege to kindly invite the Chief of Defense Staff, Gambia Armed Forces, Lieutenant General Masana in Kinte, to deliver his remarks. Sir. Thank you very much, uh, Major Sanyang, the Public Relations Officer and Master of Ceremony on this occasion. Your Excellency, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Mr. Adama Varo, Honorable Secretary to Cabinet, Mr. Ibrahim Sisi, the Representative of the Ministry of uh, Defense, the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Defense, the Commander, Gambia National Army, Brigadier General Mamad Ocham, the Commander, Gambia Navy, Commodore Madani Senghor, senior officers here present, the Director of Press and Public Relations of the Office of the President, the Commander, Presidential Guard, the ADC, to His Excellency the President, other senior officers here present, members of the Ford Estate, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, all other protocols respectfully and duly observed. Your Excellency, <coughs> please permit me to begin by thanking Allah the Almighty and also to thank you your Excellency, for not only approving the promotion of these officers present here today, but also for accepting our request for you to personally preside over this solemn occasion as our Commander-in-Chief, despite your extremely busy schedule. It is indeed a clear testimony of the care and concern you have always have for the men and women in uniform in general, but more so for the Gambia Armed Forces in particular. Your Excellency, since you took over the mantle of leadership of this country, you have always wanted a professional armed forces devoid of politics and tribalism. And when you appointed me as the Chief of Defense Staff in 2017, you told me that one of the most important priorities of your government is to create a professional armed forces highly motivated and free from political interference. <laughs> you have assured me that no one would interfere with the day-to-day -day running of the armed forces to decide who should be promoted or who should serve where 
or who should go on peacekeeping or other missions. This is a commitment and a promise you have kept. However, let me hasten to state that as our minister and also commander, our commander in chief, you have given access to engage the armed forces, high command, and give them strategic guidance and direction at all times. You are constantly informed of the developments in the armed forces, and we thank you for this unique and privileged opportunity. For today's occasion, Your Excellency, we shall witness the decoration, or we have already witnessed the decoration and swearing-in ceremony of 39 officers comprising of 33 captains to the ranks of uh, major and six majors to the rank of lieutenant colonel or its equivalent, respectively, as earlier on reported by the master of ceremony. Your Excellency, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to report that these officers decorated here today have distinguished themselves by successfully going through a professional process that was instituted by my office. I convened a, a board headed by the Deputy Chief of Defense Staff and gave them comprehensive guidelines which are in accordance with international best practices and the terms and conditions of service 1993, which were religiously followed. I can report that, Your Excellency. The board was able to come up with a challenging promotion exam in which officers were given various research and presentation topics. They completed these tasks within the prescribed time frame and made their submissions successfully. They have also individually been invited to a high-level panel of judges to defend their submission in order to ascertain that the work submitted were, in fact, their own. Those who passed this process were the ones recommended by the promotion board for the promotion to the next rank, which you have graciously, graciously approved. Promotions are supposed to be normal occurrences in every growing and transforming organization, but the frequency must be prescribed by the need and the available vacancies. <clears throat> but let me hasten to add that the promotions in the armed forces are not just mere routine exercises, but a deliberate effort on the part of the leadership to ensure that officers to be promoted <clears throat> must have gone through a standard process coupled with meritorious services. Therefore, this particular promotion we are witnessing today is not just any other annual promotion exercise, but rather one that is consistent with the needs of the armed forces and a promotion that is in accordance with the security sector reform agenda of the government of His Excellency, Mr. Adam Alvaro. There is the need for effective leadership at all levels of command, and it is the duty and responsibility of the officer corps to provide decisive leadership of the armed forces. Therefore, promotions cannot simply be business as usual. On that note, Your Excellency, please allow me to use this occasion to congratulate these officers on their well-deserved promotions. Please accept my congratulations and best wishes on behalf of the officers, men and women of the Gambia Armed Forces. Remember, promotions come with added responsibilities and challenges. Therefore, you need not be reminded as officers to maintain the highest sense of discipline, loyalty and commitment to your national duties at all times. Those of you promoted to senior officer cadre would come across greater challenges that are synonymous to your new roles. You need not quit or fear those challenges, but rather face them with the right attitude and frame of mind and be rest assured of our support at all times.
While you feel happy with your promotions, I will therefore admonish you as beneficiaries to uphold the principles of unconditional loyalty to the government and people of the Gambia as you have subscribed in your oaths. Your duties must and always be performed on the basis of sincerity, bearing in mind that the Almighty Allah sees, sees us where your commanders would not. Your Excellency, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, on a final note, I would like to take this opportunity to thank His Excellency, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, for not only endorsing these promotions, but for hosting the decoration and swearing-in ceremony at the State House today. <laughs> Let me also, in the same vein, express our sincere gratitude to the Honorable Secretary to Cabinet here present for being part of this uh, special occasion today. I want to also recognize the support we enjoy from the presidential household staff, especially the Secretary to Cabinet, the Secretary General, the Chief of Protocol, the Press and Publicity Director, the Commander State Guard, and the ADC to His Excellency, the President. <laughs> Finally, let me once again congratulate the beneficiaries of this promotion and pray that Almighty Allah give you all the wisdom to execute your duties <coughs> with loyalty, fairness, and diligence. I thank you very much for your rapt attention. The Secretary to Cabinet, Mr. Ibrahim Assisi, the Chief of Defense Staff, Service Chiefs and General Officers of the Gambia Armed Forces, Officers, Members of the Media, Ladies and Gentlemen. As Commander in Chief of the Gambia Armed Forces, I am deeply delighted to preside over the decoration and swearing in ceremony of the 66 gallant members of our armed forces. Before proceeding, I thank the Almighty Allah for his blessings and the opportunity to hold this event here in State House. I remember that on the 9th February of last year, when I received the Chief of Defense Staff and the High Command of the Armed Forces. I mentioned my government's plans for the Armed Forces. Among them was the resolve to transform our army into a professional force that conforms to international best practices. The sore reality is that the military cannot be left behind if you want to develop this country meaningfully. <laughs> Therefore, the promotions and decoration of these officers in our midst is very timely indeed. On behalf of the entire government and the people of the Gambia, I congratulate all of them on their well-deserved achievement. Promotions are meant to encourage and reward personnel for hard work, dedication, loyalty, commitment, and devotion to duty. Such promotions must not only be based on merit, but also must be in accordance with the terms and conditions of service that bind the relevant parties. I am reliably informed that the categories of ranks promoted today have all met the specified requirements and passed a promotion exams. In this regard, I convey my gratitude and sincere appreciation to the Chief of Defense Staff 
for following administrative procedures in line with the law of the country and international best practices. <laughs> I also convey appreciation to the promotion board for a job well done. It is satisfying and reassuring that the right people are promoted based on vacancies that need to be filled. Ladies and gentlemen, the report reaching my office indicate that in the past promotions in the Gambia Armed Forces, we are not based on merit, but on injustice. With my government security sector reform agenda, however, this has already changed. <laughs> to all the officers who have been promoted, I say you have been accorded a great privilege. But you must note that promotions come with additional responsibilities and challenges. Therefore, you are required to redouble your efforts in order to live to the expectations associated with your new ranks. We expect you to discharge your duties with honesty, sincerity, discipline, and respect for authority. But in the interest of the Gambia, above your individual interests. And you will continue to succeed. I must also emphasize that as commanders, you must always remember those who look up to you as leaders. Set good example to them and ensure that their welfare is taken care of at all times. In spite of the challenges you may face, be encouraged by the fact that all members of the Gambia Arm and Security Services are operating as one family with a common goal. Thus, the entire Armed Forces Command will support you to execute your duties. Let me observe that following your decoration to your new ranks, you have all taken certain oaths. The relevance of the oaths cannot be overemphasized as they must guide your work and behavior. You cannot be true military personnel without paying due attention to what you have sworn to do and the principle of your profession. I urge and remind you to take these oaths very seriously. And remember that the consequences of swearing and acting differently. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, in the quest to build a professional force, my government has recognized the importance of capacity building. It is against this backdrop that we have engaged our international partners for training assistance. As a result, members of the Gambia Armed Forces are now benefiting from various training opportunities across the world. This will contribute to improving the competence of the members of the armed forces. I assure you that we will not relent until we have a professional and a very well motivated army that can merge other armies around the world. <laughs> I am aware of the efforts being undertaken to set up a military academy here. This is one of the best drivers towards achieving our security sector reform. Please be reassured of the support of the Ministry of Defense and the entire government for the realization of this noble initiative. Be reassured, too, that government will continue to collaborate and provide support to the relevant stakeholders in order to move the nation security sector reform agenda forward. I should stress at this juncture that an important element of the reform initiative is to have a vibrant, effective, legitimate armed force that is transparent, subordinate and accountable to civilian authority. A force that is responsive to the need and aspirations of the people and a force whose actions are firmly rooted within the rule of law and international standards. 
to conclude, once again, I congratulate all the promoted officers and their families on their very well-deserved promotion. We wish all of you success in your military careers, and we pray that the Gambia remains a peaceful and a stable country. I thank you all for your kind attention. Baluo service dinkira la jampo wamanke na kole yako. Baluo service alde mano kaje ko ali dumur fiyo le sang ali dumba ya moli ana laka nunte ulu watu bela ali watu shudum pana ukono. Baluo service la dinkira lu ani la do kunyulu ibo banko karo bedo kabirin katong po koina nalla fako kukotong soro balwo sabis la kuolto ali komandi telefon la anu la milbuko 9400213 wala 3192870 wala hankabi alta internet yoto ali la kuolu jibe www.balwo.com Dreaming of owning a property in a prime location with great proximity and fantastic neighborhood? EJ Investments Sanyang Seaview Estate is the best choice you have been waiting for. Our Sanyang Seaview Estate is approximately 15 minutes drive away from the busy hop of Brusubi roundabout and into the heart of nature where you can have a peaceful and relaxed lifestyle with your family. You can buy a finished four bedroom story with five year flexible payment plan or a service plot with two year payment plan an option. With over 300 homes, you will enjoy big tar roads with covered drainage, modern electrification with solar street lights, gated entrance with security post, and a breath-catching experience of our beautiful sea view and lake view. You can own a home today at our Sanyang Sea View Estate. Call us today on 446-4838 or 325-9220. Visit our website on ejinvestments.net. EJ Investments, first in property.